Hey y'all, this is Buddy Evans with Bass Fishing Tips and Techniques. Um, today is January 10th and uh, I had the opportunity to go out fishing today at uh, about 1 o'clock or 1.15 today. I, I got out of the lakes about 1.15 today and um, I got done about 5.15 today because that's usually when the sun sets. But um, I had one hit today and I landed the fish. It was a huge fish today. I do have video of it and I do have a couple pictures that I will be showing you soon. But um, today's... Uh, you know, uh, tip of the day is is patience. If uh, if you love it and you're out there and you're you're taking your time, you're you're probably going to land bigger fish. Um, it, it is it, it it is very very hard and it's very very frustrating when you're not catching fish. But if you're patient and you're fishing very slow when fish aren't biting, you change your baits from time to time and you're moving at different um, spots of the lake when. When you you know when you're throwing out a couple times here and there, moving around the lake is very key as well. But um, you know today patience was was key for me today. Um, normally, you know when I when I get there and I don't get a couple bites, I I would usually change lakes or I go somewhere different. But uh, you know today I I liked a specific lake. They have huge bass in there, and um, you know I was very very patient. I I got there about 1:15 today, and I caught my first bass at 4:25. You know that's that's about four hours before I even caught a fish before I even got a bite but um you know patience 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 I'm telling you you'll land bigger fish you'll bring more fish in if you are just patient um, today I had like I said I had one bite I brought that fish in it was a it was a great fish and uh, usually when you catch a, a, a big bass or a monster bass when you haven't caught anything all day gives you that that rush that feeling that you're out there trying to uh, trying to get and it you know it wipes away all the time that you spent not receiving a bite changing your bait and all that other good stuff it it really made up for it today but um the bass I caught today I caught on a, a brand new ducket rod a seven foot medium no it's not medium I'm sorry heavy rod and uh, fast action um, uh, I have a a Boo Garcia MGX reel coming in and my roommate actually just received two of them so he allowed me to or let me fish with one of them today which was an amazing amazing reel the Abu Garcia MGX it was a 7 1 to 1 gear ratio it, it comes in just like a, a regular 6 4 1 gear ratio on like uh, you know like the lower brand rot or reels but um I mean I lowered I mean I, I raised the uh, um, the braking system on the outside and in the inner side and uh, I had it all the way up because I, it was brand new and I was adjusting the baits that I was fishing with and uh, I mean I threw this this bait so far with the braking system so high it was ridiculous I have a Revo SX uh, through a Boo Garcia and I usually have the settings set perfect and I mean I could throw it I could throw it about a mile and this this uh, this uh, bait caster outdid it today by the the weight the performance the the durability, the strength of it, and just the overall reel was just amazing. I mean, I even lowered this uh, the braking system, and I can even throw it out even further. But uh, it was a great reel. I brought in a great fish today. Um, I was fishing with uh, the watermelon candy worm by Zoom. It was a great bait. I was still using that 10-pound uh, test through uh, Brute Strength from uh, or through Strength, which is the new brand, which is the Brute Strength, which is very very strong. After I pulled that big fish in, I mean, I had no vibrations, no stretching on it. Usually I run my finger up and down the line about like, you know, 12 to 15 feet up the line just to see if it's, you know, it thinned out or, you know, or anything. So I usually cut that if it is, but I mean, I didn't feel anything. That, that line is terrific. Um, I had those new, new hooks by owner. Um, they are the, the offset wide gap hooks. And um, I went to them and uh, the past two times I fished, um, the other day, um, Caught six fish, missed one fish, and then today I caught one fish, or had one bite and caught one fish, and these hooks, their hooks are amazing. But um, I was just popping that worm off, 
off the bottom of the, the lake, just very, very slow and just letting it sit, just popping, 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 just letting it sit, just popping, 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 and letting it sit and just doing that throughout the whole lake. And, uh, you know, I had landed a really good bass, but that watermelon candy worm is was perfect. The water was super clear, so I tried to use a, a more natural colored bait. Um, I went with a, a black red worm first, which is not really that natural, but then I went to watermelon, and then I went to pumpkin seed, and then I went to a, like a tanner color, and then uh, the pumpkin seed was, was what it uh, did for me today. But um, it was a great fish, it was a great day. The, the temperature was about 50 something degrees out. The, the wind was coming from the east, southeast, and it was probably blowing about three miles an hour. And uh, the, the water was super cold still, and th that's another key thing, or another important thing that you can still catch big bass and bass, or a lot of bass, throughout the winter time when the water is super cold. It is here in Alabama, Tuscaloosa, Alabama, but the water still gets cold, the temperatures still get cold. We had work and schools canceled all throughout, all throughout uh, Alabama not too long ago, a couple days ago, due to the weather being super cold. So bass still um, eat during cold weather. You just need to do the time, put the time in, and uh, you know you could you could land some big fish. But uh, like I said, uh, um, the key tip for today was was patience. Be patient. Don't get frustrated. Don't try to reel in faster and try to get more cash. If you're not getting any bites, reel in slower. Work bait slower, or go to slower baits. You can even use a um, what are they called? Uh, you can use the trick worms. You know, you know, slow roll them. You can use salamanders. Bring them, bring them in real slow. And uh, there's a, the the sanko worms. They're real thick worms, and you, know, you usually put them because uh, they're really heavy. You don't need any kind of weight with them. You can throw them out there and just pop them back and forth. But uh, fishing slow is is key, especially to these cold weathers. And another thing that I found out was that uh. Not that I found out, but you know, through reading, uh, you know, different magazines and just for through, uh, you know, fishing and experience. Um, usually on hot days, you know, morning and late afternoons are the best times, and then on really, really cold days, hopefully when the sun pops out, the afternoons are really, really good because the sun comes out and you know tries to warm up the water just a little bit, and the fish start, you know, franicking and going out there trying to get some food. But you know, the tip of the day was be patient, and uh, here's a couple of. Well, here's a video and here's a couple pictures of the bass I caught today. See you next time. Just caught this 8-4 pounder, baby. 8-4. how big he is. Look how thick he is. 8-4. Look at the mouth on that. I was using a new ducket rod uh, with micro guides. 7-foot uh, rod. It was uh, it's, it's, um, a heavy duty rod or heavy, um, fast action. I was using a new Abu Garcia um, MGX 7-1 uh, to a yeah, seven one to one gear ratio. Was using the same worm I was using the other day. Watermelon candy, just popping it off the bottom. Look at this monster. Eight pounds, four ounces. Huge. Big. Look, I mean, just look how big it is. Huge compared to me. Not normal, baby. We got kiss him for good luck. Kiss him for good luck. Throw him back. See you next time.